We're going to look at and study Amanda by Waylon Jennings, and this is the Steve Hofmeyer version. Um, he uses a capo at fret 3, so please make sure your capo is at fret 3. Chords are quite easy, D, G, and A. And it's going to be something like this. sing because Steve's got a really deep voice and I'm not going to get there but I am going to take you through the basic chords the picking pattern that's got what they call a three four time signature which means we're counting one and two and three and one and two and three and which is basically a waltz so think doof tuck tuck doof tuck tuck and you've got that waltz type dance now I'm going to focus first of all on the chords we're looking at D D I'm sure you know it and we're going to pick down from the fourth string. So I'm going to focus first of all on my picking hand so we can demonstrate what's happening there. A lot closer now. You'll notice my palm is resting more or less on the bridge of my guitar. And the pick is starting on the fourth string for the D chord. And you're counting one and two and three. For the second bar, you go from the root note for D, which is on the fourth string, to the fifth string which gives you this effect and that sounds pretty cool and you'll hear it in the song if you listen carefully so slow motion first of all the bass note for D string four and then you go to the fifth string for the D and if you combine them and you want to play with me on the count of three one and two and three and Now you heard in the background, at the end of the progression, I'm going to focus quickly onto my fretting hand and show you what's happening over there. Now on the PDF file that I would have sent along with this as well, at the bottom underneath the chord diagrams it says riff leads to DC video. This is the video. And we're going to have a little note or a little riff that sounds like this. Now the numbers on the tab go 0, 2, four and it's all on the fifth string one more time different angle open fifth string fret two fret two and sorry fret four and then open to the d and that's how it works now i'm going to zoom out quickly to show you an overview of how to put this in with the d chord put the riff with the d you can see both strumming and picking hands quite nicely now and it's going to be like this i'm going to count this in one two and three in and you can see how nice this 024 leads into the D chord. Now, Steve doesn't do it the whole way through the song, but if you listen carefully at the introduction and certain places in the song, he uses this to lead into the first verse, for example. So, listen for that. Now, other chords you're going to have this G. I'm going to focus back on the picking hand again because we want to get this bass note. But you can't really see the distance, so let's get onto the strumming hand quick. G chord, sixth string. And then I like using the fourth string. It's got to do with a sort of a 1-5 bass line, which I'm not going to go too much into detail why they call it 1-5. If you really need to know, drop me a WhatsApp and I'll give you a detailed explanation. But right now, to make this song work and to play it well, try 6-4. And then obviously back to the D. The last chord that we must deal with is an A. I'll show you the A now. First, I'm going to do the picking pattern. And it's going to go 5th string, 4th string. And it's a really easy, beautiful song to play. There's no real challenges, no hidden F sharp minor 7, 8, 11, no fifths or anything strange like that. It's basically three chords the whole way through D, G, and D. Um, you could play it out of F as well without a capo, but then the chords get really difficult. So I found that keeping it like this just works a lot better. I'm going to just go through the chords one more time for you with an overview so you can see both left and right hand. And the only sort of Part of the song that you have to keep your focus on is making sure you do the right bass notes. And very important, if you make a mistake, please don't.
don't stop. See, if you do this, instead of going, let it go. It's fine. It's still going to sound good. And a very, very important lesson, especially for performance. If you make a mistake, yeah, it's not cool. You'd like to do it right, but smile and wave. Keep the show going. Don't stop the song. Okay. So D is going to be four and three. I mean four and five. I'd say four and three. Sorry, four and five. So I played the right thing. And then the G is going to be six and four. And A is going to be five and four. And your home dry. Now there I made a mistake, but I didn't stop and I didn't redo the video because I hope that you realize it didn't sound bad. Music one is, a, is one of the nice things where sometimes a mistake isn't a catastrophe. So learn to play through it. We were allowed to make mistakes. Okay, if you've got any questions, let me know. But what I would suggest is go to Google, YouTube, uh, listen to Amanda by Steve Wolfmayer. This will work fine because I tested it just earlier this morning. And it's a nice song to play. Any questions, you've got my details. Drop me a WhatsApp. And I'm happy to answer it. And enjoy Amanda. Have an awesome day. Thank you.